Their wedding song. Color My World. It was? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I called you that one time. I know. I, but I found uh, I heard. This, so you weren't drunk at the wedding? No. Get me off the camera. <laughs> I was only 17. They didn't stop any of them drinking back then. It was only, the drinking age was only 18. Then. Mom, do you remember the wedding day? I just remember it was a bad day. That's all I remember. You mean the weather? The weather was horrible. It was raining. It's like today. Yeah, it was worse than today, really. But our, we're not done yet. So maybe, I don't know who these other people are. Hey, there's Grandmom's girlfriend. Long yeah. one, Peggy. Wow. There's a whole bunch of people there. I don't remember them being there. Yeah. Half of my relatives are dead. You know, Emily looks happy. There was a lot of people there. I forgot who they were. We're asking people what they remember about the wedding day. Sure, sure. Surprise! You said you were you were surprised when you came totally in? Totally shocked. There's no clue. I'm nervous inside still. Do you do you remember your wedding day? No, he's still nervous about that. <laughs> I remember it being icy and stormy. <laughs> like today. Do you, do you remember having that much hair? <laughs> yeah, that comes with it. Well, they said the pictures are somewhere around. Yeah, they're going around the room. <laughs> <laughs> Denise, what do you remember about the wedding day? What do I remember about the wedding day? Yes. 25 years ago. It was 25 years ago. And, and, you, had get Michael, and you had to get Michael T. to ready. That's right, and that was very hunting, because they were only five and six years old, so they were like, ah! <laughs> But I just know it was a very exciting day, and it was really nice to have you know, my kids in the wedding. It was really great. And Lauren had hair. Yeah, and Lauren had hair. Lauren had hair. We were five and six. We were three and four. Uh, yes, we were. That's all. Yes, we were. I was born in 1972. They were married in 1976. On my birthday's in May, I was almost four. Yeah, you already ate. Yeah, they, okay, so they, you were four and Michael was five. I was off a year. They look younger than five and six. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Oh well. I think I told you I didn't have a good memory. <laughs> now, do you do you remember your um your wedding song? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What do you remember? What what what's your wedding song? Uh, Color my world. Oh okay. All right. Then you would have. 
on the newlywed game, you, Lauren could have won, but you would have gotten it wrong anyway. Okay, that's all. Be quiet for a minute. Direct our attention to the bridal party. <laughs> What's well, different 25 years later? Look at the pictures. You know, Lauren had hair then. <laughs> this, is an, this is an inauguration day for our president, but uh, and a special day for Lauren and Deb. I was in their wedding, and I remember 25 years ago, and uh, I don't really remember anything about it, but I remember. <laughs> I remember I was in college and had to come home for the weekend. So, so. But I remember the, uh, uh, the joyous time of you know, seeing my brother marry. And Deb and I were classmates at Defford, so he married someone from our class. And, uh, you know, we remember those uh, happy occasions. So. But I just take a moment and, and I'm going to uh, say the vows to Lauren. And Lauren, you, you repeat them looking at Debbie for him. <laughs> Continue to honor you all your days, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health. I will love and cherish you till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, I reaffirm my faithfulness and commitment to you as your husband. I, Deb, reaffirm my love for you, Lauren, as my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. I will continue to honor you all your days. Continue to honor you all our days. I will continue to honor you all our days. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love and cherish you till death do us part. I will love and cherish you till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. I reaffirm my faithfulness and commitment to you as your wife. I reaffirm my to you, to you as your wife. Okay, it's in my hand. I'd like to thank everybody out for coming out tonight. And uh, everybody that put this thing together, everybody worked real hard. Thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, I, um, I guess raise your glass to two great people. I love, love the call of my parents, and they put up with us for many years. And <laughs> Still put up with <laughs> They'll put up for me forever because I'm never moving out. <laughs> so, <laughs> I get a place to stay. <laughs> um, uh, just uh, fortunate that I've uh, grown up with both my parents. Very fortunate. A lot of people don't have that. And I'm just glad yeah, that they raised me and I'm not a knucklehead that much. And it turned, turned out all right. So, it's two great people. Right. 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 Right.
pull out your vocal. Hey, so, wait a minute. Well, I'm on the camera. I can take the camera. You're supposed to stay. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's always been a great brother-in-law, my best brother-in-law. That's true. He's always been there to do anything that you need him to do. Moved you? Yeah, moved me a couple months before I had my company moved. And uh, he's just, you know, never, never got into any fights with him over the years, so. He didn't ever say anything wrong with that. What about my sister, well, I lived with her for 15 years, and I knew that she wasn't the easiest person to live with, so. <laughs> but my sister, I, I know she would do anything for me, and I can never say anything bad about her. So. Salute. You know, I don't think you to drink, so. I'm uh, she hit you with the brush on your hand. <laughs> plate of uh